Welcome folks, we are Sophie and Philippe, two professional chefs and experienced regenerative farmers. After years of running our own restaurants and organic farm, we are now setting up our latest farm project in Portugal, Philippe's homeland. Let's get ourselves some leeks! Hi folks! It's been raining cats and dogs, autumn has really hit. We just found a little gap between the clouds, as you can tell, the sun shining in my face. And I thought, let's go quickly into the garden, let's harvest ourselves some leeks. Let's do a little deep dive into how we grow leeks on this farm and then get into the kitchen and make a hard warming little dish. We always leave the root system in the ground. So I bring a sharp knife, cut those puppies off. This will save you a lot of work in the kitchen. <laughs> Let's just go into the tunnel where I'll show you how we grow these leeks on our farm. So let me run you through how we get from seed to thick, white, long leeks. As I've mentioned in the previous video, this is not necessarily super easy to do the first time you're trying. So if you're a first time grower, pay attention. I'm going to save you a lot of fails here. The way we actually go about getting our seed planted is not how we grow most of our annuals, which is actually in these growing trays where we individually pop in the seeds and we make individual little plugs. No, with leeks we do it differently. So here we have an example of our leek seeds mop seeded in this planting pot. What we do is we fill it up with a substrate specifically for seedlings and then wait until they come up. Of course, watering them every other day. Then when they are about two millimeters thick, that is about this size, we untangle them from the substrate by soaking them in some water, breaking them up, whichever way best preserves the roots. Obviously you want to try to minimize the tearing of the root systems as this is what will support the growth of the plant. Once you've separated, you now pick out your strongest specimens and these are ready for transplanting. Now the way we transplant is important and this is many years of trial and error and many not great looking leaks later. We now stand by our method and that is just punching an extremely deep hole, about 20 centimeters deep or so, but you probably could go a little deeper. We widen that up. We used this hand tool for a very long time. We've now upgraded, but we'll have more on that in a minute. We punch the dipper into the ground and open up the space of the hole slightly, take it out and drop this baby seedling in. Once dropped inside of the hole, you can see that only very little part of the leek actually remains in the sunlight. And this is exactly what we want because it is the lack of sunlight that will create this white part on your leek, which is the most sought after and tender part. So that is the big trick. Punch a big hole and don't close it up. So this is uh, the leek planter. Uh, it is separated around 30 centimeters from each one. So the leeks will be 30 centimeters apart. I have here a marker that gives me the next hole and the next hole is around 15 centimeters and the depth of this is around 20. So let's start planting. So this is a bed that we planted two weeks ago and as you can tell it's very hard to see the leeks even as they're so tiny but we'll show you a good close-up because they are very deeply submerged and you can still see the punching hole but with the watering some of the earth has settled. Now in terms of preparing the bed what we'd like to do is give it a good nitrogen amount so we compost the beds before planting with a compost made with animal manure as well in there so that's enough to set it up for a good success and a sunny spot usually also is preferred. So these leeks will be ready in spring because we're very fortunate where we're growing. We actually can grow all year round as we have very mild frost and looking forward to enjoying these in about four to six months. As you can tell, it started raining and that is our sign. Let's go into the kitchen and make ourselves a heartwarming, luscious leek recipe. <laughs> Let's make some delicious leek fritters. We have some sweet potato and we have a bit of five spice and we're gonna make this hearty little dish for our kids that are about to come home from school. I'm gonna chop off the green part and I'm gonna pop that into a stock that I'll be using for dinner.
mayonnaise done. And then we add a big heaped spoon of this basil and walnut pesto, which isn't pesto. folks all the madness aside this is the end of the episode i hope that you guys enjoyed it getting to know the leek from seed to plate and if you are interested in making this recipe at home check out the link below because we will have this recipe up on our website downloadable printable and ready to go if you like our content please consider subscribing and hitting that like button it helps us along greatly see you on the next one the farming chefs peace out <laughs>